Thanks, Martin from Canada. G'day, guys. We have got a parcel from Canada, eh? Sorry, more Canadian viewers. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, this one's come from Martin, so thank you very much, Martin. And it looks like we've got a ration and possibly some other things here that could make somebody happy. So uh, let's check it out. This one's been, fortunately, like uh, most of the rations in the cupboard here for a little while, so uh, I'm sorry, Martin. Let's see, here we go. Ooh. Hey, there we go, we've got a milk supply ration here. What do we got? Vegetable lasagna. Can't tell what the other the other one is. So that's gonna be cool. Awesome. And let's see what else we got here. Oh <laughs> check it out. Oh that's brilliant. Canadian mug that will get some use. Thank you very much, Martin. And we have a t-shirt. Now I think I know who this might be for. Given the size, it's certainly not for me. And there we go. Look at that. Woohoo! Okay, Canada. So well and going with the theme of the ration. Stand by for one minute. Thanks, Martin. Wow, that is cool, doesn't it? Yes. I think the size is pretty good too. Yes. Oh, lucky girl. And what else do you have there? Money. Money from where? Mm, Canada. 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 You got it. Wow. That's pretty money, isn't it? Yeah. That's fancy. And it's Different. shiny. It's shiny too. That's very cool. You have to keep that safe, won't you? Yes. All right, we've got a couple more things in here that I didn't see as well. We've got some pencils for school. Yeah, excited? Yeah, yeah Canadian pencils. There's heaps of them. They'll keep you going. Here you go, sweetheart. And what's this? m and Not m ms but it's lollies. So uh, that's toffee. And I think there's some instructions here from Martin on what we need to do with that. And we do have a letter here. Good afternoon, Matt. Slow for the slow turnarounds. And uh, right back at you, Martin. I'm sorry for the slow turnaround as well. <laughs> uh, MRE purchased in late 2010. Stored in the basement. Okay. Three minutes of the car. MREs are rotated out of service. Pull them apart or most recently foist them off to some poor unsuspecting YouTube reviewer. <laughs> G Schultz and Gundog got the first two or three and this is the last of them. And it's been back in the basement. And there's some coins and a mug. And uh, yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, one of the most interesting things about a country is, th is the money. Um, and uh, I must say, just looking at those coins, Canada has some pretty, pretty looking coins. Yeah, okay. And we need to take the toffee, leave it in the wrapper, smack it against the edge of the table, okay? We'll break it into bits. But we won't do that just yet because then we won't be able to speak. <laughs> Awesome. Alrighty. So, in these milk kits fly, we do have a peelable seal. Works. What's in here? In here? Yeah. That's all of the ration bits and pieces. Has it, has it been that long since we've done a video? Yes. Oh gosh, okay. Terrible, Anna. All right, let's see what we got here. So we'll start off with the big ticket items. We got Mexican rice. And we have a vegetable lasagna. So it's a vegetarian uh, ration, this one. What I tend to find anyway, I'm not a vegetarian as you know, but when they do do vegetarian rations, they, they end up tasting pretty good. You know, you, you wouldn't expect them to, in most cases, but they do. We've got the good old snack bread. So this is from the 260th day of 2010. 
We have some of those. We've got some of these spoons, don't we? Yeah. We've got lots of them, they come in handy. What else we got? We have raspberry white choc chip. Nope, raspberry white chip cookie. Sound good? Yeah. 258th day, so yeah, it's all about from the latter part of uh, 2010. Cocoa beverage powder. That's super jam. Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. Strawberry jam. Uh, you got some strawberry jam, which would be nice with the wheat snack bread, won't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Flame maturation heater. Well, this is getting a little bit long in the tooth, so it'll be interesting to see if this uh, does the trick. And we have a accessory pack. Yay. Well, curiously, with another spoon in it. Hmm. Oh, this one's tough. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. It's decent. And here we got coffee, lemon scented wet wipe, pepper. Don't often see that in rations, pepper. It's good. Salt, that sugar, non dairy creamer, and a napkin. Let's get into it. Okay. There we go, that's not bad for a uh, commercial ration, is it? No. There's quite a lot of stuff there. You know, we've got the, the main and uh, accompanying rice. It's always good to see, I don't always like seeing two pouches in there. And uh, everything else looks pretty. Pretty well sorted. We've got our cookie for dessert. We've got our snack bread for the uh, the bread. I mean, it's a bit carby, I suppose. We've got the rice, the uh, pasta, and the lasagna, and uh, <laughs> the wheat snack bread. But there you go. I plus the the carb electrolyte beverage powder. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. The jam should go on the the bread, should it? Okay, we'll do that. Uh, this is one of those occasions as well that, given the age of the ration. Um, it's actually quite good to have something that's the, the history is known um, in the same circumstances if this was a genuine US military MRE you'd really have no idea but in this case Martin's uh, you know, he's got a clear plan about his stock rotation he knows exactly where it's been from when it was new and uh, you know it's been spent the, the bulk of its time down in a, a nice cool basement so uh, it's reassuring to know <laughs> All right, let's get some of the stuff heading up, shall we? Okay. All right, so let's see if this flameless ration heater has still got the berries to heat up these two uh, items. What do you think? Yeah. You reckon it will? Yeah. You're an optimist. Okay, I like it. Those look like the same sizes. Uh, yeah, pretty similar. First thing we need to do is take off the top and then try and get that. <laughs> squeeze them in. Which is always a bit, a bit tough. I'll try taking out the pouch just slightly first. On one side. I think what we'll do this time is we'll put one like that and we'll put it down and then we'll just kind of nestle the other one beside it. What do you reckon? Okay, let's try that. Because sometimes when you have two of these things in here, getting the pads wet is a challenge because if you've got one stuffed on either side, yeah sure you can sort of pour it down the middle, but no matter what side you lay it on, the water is not going to uh, pool if you like. So if we do it this way, once we put the water in, we can have it nice and flat on that side, all the water is going to activate these pads and then we've got a nice surface to put that against. Are we going to put the water in here? We will. Alright, so here we go. We'll just chuck it in. Try and do this. There we go, a little bit too much, doesn't matter. Stuff that down. And we'll just lay it flat for a bit. Get all those pads nice and wet. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. And it's usually a good indication of things to come when if you're holding it like this you can you can start to feel the action happening, but it's not looking good. <laughs> Can't feel anything. Push it around a bit. At the bottom there's water. Yep. Yep, I need to get those, those pads nice and wet. So it's not doing a whole heck of a lot. But anyway, we'll have some faith. We'll stuff that in there. It's all just a big squeeze. That will never say. Oh, never say never. Oh, Hold you down. if we can get something out of it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Wish us luck. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, first up, let's get the cocoa beverage powder. Mm -hmm. We'll mix this one up in the bag. There we go. Off the top. And Want to fill it up to this fill line here, okay? okay? It's always a guess. It's always a guess. You never really can tell, but you can feel it when it gets to that point with your hands normally. And that's about right. Seal it up good. Don't want to mess. Give it a shake. You mean a good shake. Sorry, a good shake. Is that good enough? Yes. A couple more for luck. Alrighty. So let's chuck it in now. See what we got. Will we shake it enough? Ooh. Look good? Yeah. Any lumps? Um no. We did good then. Yeah. Alright, let's put that with the rubbish. So we have our cocoa beverage powder. It's a little bit bubbly. A little bit bubbly, yeah. Alright, and let's uh, quickly do the coffee. Deep rich. That one's for me and that one's for you. Okay, alright, fair enough. Okay, you want some sugar in our coffee? Well, sugar. not your coffee. Mummy would kill me. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Creamer? Yeah. Why not? Uh oh. Why? So it begins, eh? The mess. Anyway, here we go. It's hot water. Make some uh, coffee. Put some hot water in it. I need to put some hot water in there to give it a wash. We need to clean that jug. A little bit spongy. Quite a few drinks in this one. Should we do some magic? Yeah. Yeah, okay, magic. Okay, and for this one, the carb electrolyte mm. beverage powder, we're just going to use and tank up. Um, About yeah. half. You, you put it somewhere. <laughs> messy, messy. 
It says it's orange oh. flavour. So it'll probably end up as I'm a my orange. I'm that. Well, pretty. That's like our orange juice. Psychedelic colour. <laughs> and like our orange juice. Okay, we'll give it a stir. Over there a little bit. Alright, we've got our drinks, drinks fest. Okay, shall we check out the rest of the stuff? Yeah. Good, good, good. A wheat snack bread. See how that's fared, five or six years old. I remember we had a bread that was a little bit littler than that. Yeah. Ooh. What do you think about that smell? Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. It smells fine. Wheat snack breads never smell terribly good. But this should. Raspberry white chop cookie. Oh, man. Let's see. That would be for dessert. Ooh, smell that. <laughs> I could eat that now. Could you? Oh, we might have to just wait for a little bit. We'll check out the jam and put some of that on the what? Um, bread. On the bread, yeah. Good girl. There'll be a like red colour. Should be. Ish. Looks okay. Yeah, it's like oranges. Whatever. Yep. And that smells good too. Everything smells good. <laughs> All right. Shall we see if our um, if our food has got hot? Yeah. Let's check. I'll just go get it. Okay. Okay. All right. So da -da 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 -da. the um, the FRH was uh, a big fail. <laughs> it hasn't really hasn't really got warm at all. So that's fine. When in doubt, bring out the big guns. I have another way that you can warm that up. You'll speak. You can put it on the side of your coffee here. Oh, do you think that'd work? Okay. All right. So this should be fun anyway. It's always fun. it's always a laugh using these ones, isn't it? Out the pad here, and we should have this hot in a jiffy, really. Yeah, that's uh, not hot in the slightest, but it is wet. That's about all it is, it's wet, isn't it? Okay. Alright, this time we will pop one on either side because I have total faith in this heater. Let's get some water in there, shall we? Yeah. Cold water. Please take a bit more water than normal. And uh, they don't take very long to get going, so let's just get this pad a bit wet and we'll stand back. Watch this. Waiting, waiting. Do I make it? Okay. But are we going to show them the other one? Oops. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy. Are we going to show them the other magic trick that we can do? We will. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, oh. that's the ticket. Ooh, steam <laughs> Oh, that smells steamy. Mm -hmm. It 
it's going like into my drink. <laughs> Alright, so. You just made it more weird. I know, a huge mess, isn't it? Oh well, some cleanup involved, a little bit of magic, and we'll let this have a few minutes to do its thing, and that's all it will take. Okay. Alright, so as expected, nail spec heaters are really doing the job. And it's still puffing away, but uh, yeah, these are these are too hot to touch now. So I think that'll do us. Mm -hmm. Ouch! <laughs> Alrighty. So first of all, should we divvy this stuff up? Mm -hmm. Do you want some on your plate? Yes. All right. Let's have a look at the half each. cookie first. Let's see, oh, it's still got a bit of crunch there. Crunchy. Yeah, it smells. Super nice. Mmm. You got that sort of raspberry kind of flavor. Raspberry kind of flavor? Flavor's not a smell, is it? <laughs> kind of, but no. There you go. It's for you. Put it on there. This way. And uh, break off a bit of wheat snack bread with some jam. And there's heaps for laters. Heaps for laters, is there? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to bother about the crumbs on. Uh, on here. How about my tea? Let's check it out. Mexican yeah. rice. I'm putting every of my other things on here. Mm -hmm. Those two on here. Thank you, thank you. Mexican rice. I'll put them uh, separate for now. The. Uh... You can't even open that. <laughs> I know it's so slippery. I can open it. Can you? Uh, Can I try? Oh, got it. No, I didn't. There we go. Oh, now you got it. First of all, put the rice on the side. Yeah, it's not looking that too... That looks like spicy rice. Well, it's Mexican rice, so it might have a little bit of spice to it, but... Oh, it smells good. It really smells... I can smell it from here. It smells like Mexican... Uh, Smells coming through. And vegetable lasagna. This one opens along the long edge. When is this from? 287th day of 2010. That was easy. It was easy. Ooh. Oh, that smells super nice too. Yeah, you will in a sec. <gasps> I remember when. It was like the same like that or about, or about that, I think. Yeah. yeah. Looking good? Yeah. Yummy. Smelling good, that's for sure. Yeah, the vegetarian lasagnas, the uh, manufacturers tend to do pretty well. Alright, so let's bring one of those back on the scene because we are ready to go. Let's get your plate stocked up. Okay? Yeah! Thank you! Oop. Everything of everything. Everything of everything. A little bit of rice. A little bit of the lasagna. Oops. Cool! Where did you get that? There you go. Thank you! When can I eat? <laughs> when can you eat? Let's have a little look around first, shall we? Looks nice. It's like people have a, it's like people have a sensor to know when we're doing videos, eh? To get out there and they do their lawns. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so here's the Mexican rice, which uh, for MRE rice mm. is surprisingly uh, separate in the grains here. Yeah, we've got some red pepper. Um, else can you see? Can I really see red pepper? Oh, there's a few bits of corn. Corn, corn, corn. Yeah, pretty I good. I have three bits. Should we give it a try? Let's try the rice, eh? Okay. Let's try. Mmm. That's a little spicy, isn't it? Yummy. Yummy? But a little bit spicy. It's a little bit spicy, okay. Do you want to try some of the drink? Yeah. Here you go. Want to try the cocoa or the... Orange. 
That one. Alright, there you go. Alright, now let's check out this lasagna. You can see some beans. We've also got the lasagna, the pasta. Yum. Some green peppers by the looks. Yeah. Give that a shot. Yeah. Lasagna. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! That's nice, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so everything tastes as it should. Um, the lasagna, the vegetable lasagna, is um, pretty much doesn't miss the meat. I think I've said this before when I've had MRE vegetable lasagna. You're not really lacking for the meat. Well, it's just done so well. The flavors are so nice. That rich tomato sauce. You got the um, you know the beans kind of filling in for the meat, which uh, which does the job. Um, mixing it in with a little bit of rice. Wow. And lasagna. Let's see what that does. Let me try that. And a little bit of that. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. It gives it a uh, gives it a nice little kick from the uh, the spicy rice, doesn't it? You think it's good? Yes. Cool. All right. So let's try a little bit of the wheat snack bread <laughs> with a little bit of jam. Ready? Yeah, it tastes not too bad, not too bad. I think the... It's delicious. It's delicious, is it? Yeah. <laughs> the wheat stack bread might just be a little bit on the... Not about to turn, but... You know, they never taste no, that fantastic at the best of times, so... It's, uh... It's fine. Perfectly edible. Not a problem at all. Have the, Cookie. One. All right, give it a shot. Yum. <laughs> what do you think about that, boss? Yum. Yeah. What flavors can you taste? Um, like different types of berries. Different types of berries. Oh, exotic. Uh, still got a crunch. Um, mm. And everything tastes normal. You've got that, uh, that white chocolate and you've got the raspberry, real strong raspberry flavor that sort of comes through. Um, as far as the MRE cookies are concerned, this is one of my favourites, and uh, I think we'll definitely be finishing that off. Yeah. Alright, should we try the cocoa? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. He first did me. Mm. The juice was yummy too. Like a chocolate milkshake. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Coffee. Only Daddy will try this one. <laughs> I try those too. <laughs> Well, it's okay. I've, I've had better um, instant coffees. I don't know what's going on with this one. Maybe the creamer. A little bit funny. Not sure. But uh, yeah. Tastes, taste tastes a little bit anemic. And uh, here we go. This is anything but. Now, psychedelic orange carb electrolyte beverage. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I think I may have watered it down a little bit too much. I think half a canteen cup is it's probably a little bit too much water. Which Although, one is the best from these three? I quite like the cocoa. Me too. You do too? Alright. Okay, so overall from uh, Meal Kit Supply, uh, a great ration. And this has lasted remarkably well. You know, we're pushing sort of five, six years now. And uh, you know it's a testament to the proper storage of rations, really, from uh, Martin's great system of rotating the stock out and uh, keeping them in the the, the basement, um, out of the heat and out of the dramas. And uh, for a vegetarian ration, I, I think it's it's brilliant. I would not be fuss getting this, um, you know, in lieu of something with meat in it, because they do very very well the vegetarian rations. Uh, for MREs. So, once again, thank you very much, Martin, for sending us in. Thank you, Martin. I think we'll finish it off. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.